What you saying? What you saying? You wanna fight? You want beef? Okay. Happy New Year. I really, really wish you guys a Happy New Year to my old subscribers, the new subscribers. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this video because it's literally me and you guys talking, which I haven't done in such a long time. And this is like so of course and personal. This is the 31st of December, 2020. And I'm kind of doing my makeup right now. So it's kind of like a chit chat. You could already tell from the title. It's kind of like um, a video about 2020, the things I personally went through in 2020 that my videos might, may or may not have projected, but I just wanted to have this chit chat because last year I had one, but it was more so my December chit chat. So I'm like, why not have a 2020? Because this year has been a lot. So why not have a 2020 chit chat? Then maybe we make this a tradition. So at the end of every year, we have a chit chat. Of how the year went literally i just come and talk okay get into the video while i do my makeup i'm not going to show all my makeup steps on here because obviously you know your girl is not a makeup guru or nothing so let's go i have my peach juice here i'm going to church with this first going to cross over in church god you see let this year set for me you <laughs> Let this year literally said for me because if not last year I was there doing I was in Toronto I was there enjoying living life going to see fireworks and things this year I'm going to you Baba God because it's just you alone if not or more you guys are literally going to see how blind I am while I'm doing my makeup because I literally cannot see what I'm doing so I have to do stuff then wear my glasses and check if it's all right this year started like i mentioned i was in toronto i crossed over in toronto came back here because everybody already knows my story if you don't know my story from last december you're sleeping you have to click here somewhere around i'll put it anyways so i came back here to halifax all good gucci ready to go into my last semester of the year mind you i was already on the gang 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 that ah, you guys don't know what's coming for you this year this year is my year to take you guys down. This YouTube, you guys. I'm going to wear my glasses. This YouTube, I was like, hey, hey, I'm coming. But little did I know. Anyways, I came back, January school started. I was taking five courses. like, And because I was doing a double major, it was like all major courses, no elective or so, some sort. So everything was important. Trying to juggle that. The year prior to that, I had already applied to... MMUN, the program that I went for, that I went to in New York. I have my New York vlog up here too, somewhere. Yeah, so I already applied, done the interview, I got it. It was supposed to be in February and I was supposed to go for that one. So everything was still going good. She school was good. I went for that too. In February, it was like so beautiful. It kind of felt at a decent time when it was break from school. So everything just fell in line. I was like, wow, this year is already nice. I already had, I already traveled. I still have one more trip. I was coming to, you know, maybe God just say, my daughter, this pepe, 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 pepe them life. You have to drop it. Anyways, I was like, that my Dubai trip. Hey, God. Me and my girlfriends from high school, shout out Stephanie and Chama, we're supposed to travel to Dubai and have the time of our lives. Look at me talking, talking. I'm not starting makeup. Wait, let me. So, I went to New York, had fun. I think that's where I stopped. Went to New York and I had fun. The volunteer stuff I went for, superb. The place that we stayed, superb. The people I met there, nice ass people that I volunteered with. When I was in New York, we were already hearing about this COVID COVID things, but 
everybody even me included i thought it was such a stretch right that this thing is still fries in china that's kind of thing what's the point why are we getting bothered come march they now say lockdown everybody go back home i had to finish my classes from home it was not that bad it was not that bad but i would not like to be in school right now honestly but it was not that bad i finished everything we really thought this stuff was going to clear out if we quarantine if we stay in our houses blah blah, blah. that's how well, what am i even giving you guys just about covid for when all of us went through covid together but <laughs> i don't even know anyways yeah so that's how we have to start going home now my graduation that i've been looking for what to all these years going to this school for so long is now looking iffy making no graduation okay me the hard plans turn every match april me eh? my graduation my graduation i think was supposed to be in april oh no beginning of may sure then I have plans to travel. This travel I was talking about, ending of May, that one too. You have, we had to, I had to get credit for my tickets and every other person that was supposed to go on the trip. Okay, cool. We continue going now. Now I've graduated in May. Next thing is to get a job, right? Oh, I even forgot the juiciest part. It's, I'm not mentioning names in this whole video because it's my story at the end of the day, so I'm not bringing anybody else into it, any third party. But like, if you know me, and if you don't know me, you're gonna know now that <laughs> I am somebody that likes to be very on top of things. I don't like things to be like catching me on our ways, like, oh my God, if I had known, kind of thing. So me, all these years when people graduate, I'll be running my mouth. Why didn't they start applying for jobs earlier? It's their fault. It's their fault that they've not gotten a job right now. I'll be running my mouth, running, running, running it. Come me, I finish. Oh my god, I'm being so dramatic. <laughs> Come me, I finish school. Before that, no, no, no. Before that, in like January, February, like this company got to me. Like this is a company that I, me myself, I possibly would have not applied to them because I'm just like, and these people wants to get back to me. What's the point? But they got back, got to me on their own, saying they're interested in me. I was like, okay. I did the first interview, did the second interview. Everything was going good, going well. That's how this period came. I'm like, okay, what's going on? I've had three interviews now. What's going on? I've finished final stage. You're already giving me promises as to when I can even start. Me self, then, before my whole trip, my, I was like, ah, this trip is looking iffy. What if I have to start this job? That's what I was thinking to myself. Just for, what's this notification? These people would call me and tell me, oh, COVID, COVID, up and down, up and down. When, when they are back, when things are better, they get back to me. I'm like, okay, cool, though. That's nice. And me, I just do not want to really get into any job that I would not like to do on a long term because it will show. It will show I will be disgusted. I would not be putting in my 100%. So I was just like, I'm not trying to just settle for any job. Like, even if that is that's also a wise option to do something right now because obviously you need the cheese and things you need cash to be moving but i was just like i don't want to be in a situation where i settle i'm staying with this concealer on my face for too long wait wait mm. cash mommy i have cash i got cash i got cheese thank you <laughs> so i like to go in with a lighter powder first before I go Shut in, <laughs> before I go in with my, you know, anyways. So, where did I stop? Fanny, where did I stop? You're talking about graduation, aren't you? Mm, and job. Anyways, started applying to jobs, right? But because of these people showed so much interest in me, and like, I had done first interview pass, done second interview in pass, done third interview, looking very, you know, guaranteed me and my friends were already started doing hey celebrating on the low waiting for my turn to go and give testimony that's how the whole covid thing happened you see oh that they're not hiring right now again because of 
COVID and things, which was understandable. A lot of places stopped hiring, right? So that was understandable. Then today's makeup eh? is only good. Then in this 2021, it's only good for everything. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going with the same one. Okay. That's how um yeah, they're not hiring again. I'm like cool, quite alright. I'll still applying to some other places just in case at this point now because now I finished school. It's like okay, what is going on? Because the people are banking on they're not hiring, most places were not even hiring. And then the jobs that we're now hiring is like, oh my god, I want to do this. And nothing wrong with the job, but I'm just like, everybody has to do themselves. And I'm like, I don't want to be in a position where I end up settling into a job that I don't like just because of that was what I took, kind of thing. So, I was still looking for jobs come May, June. Okay, now it's looking a little bit shady. And just looking a little bit weird to me. I was under the most stress I've ever been. My younger ones are here right now with me too. So I just, I felt like one, like an unemployed mother. I don't even know what that's supposed to feel like. But that's what I felt like. I didn't have a job. Uh, anyways, given that. And in all of this, like, I still had personal things, like, going on with my personal relations. A, hey, my friend Sam left us in Halifax in july too so i was just like all these personal things were going on and i was just like trying to look at them but then deep down i had so many what's wrong with my eyebrow why is that one so fat <laughs> i had so many other things that were of greater priority to me like i don't even think my family members even my sister even fianny like all people that were so close to me knew how much it was eating me inside because i'm like i don't have a job me even like my friends would say bb doesn't have it. it's like me that i'm always like plan 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 have it have everything anyways so i kept some other things happening on the side but i just kept pushing it anyway someone came this is open i celebrated my birthday i'm one of the many few that celebrated their birthday 2020 I had it in a hotel, me and a couple friends got a couple rooms in the hotel, we went for a swim after dinner, which is not advisable though, but yeah, that's what we did, it was pretty chill, pretty fun and tiring, that even as, like, as we finished, it's like, everybody was so tired, they went to bed after swimming. Yeah, so, like I mentioned, let me just say, like the personal issues that were going on with me were just staring up. Yes, I even forgot to mention one particular thing. I said, Bibi, in this video, you must mention this thing. So, my graduation, I had somebody I wanted to use to take my graduation pictures. But I was like, ah, there's this, there's this, oh, hey, if I used to meet somebody, somebody, you guys get confused. I was like, there's somebody I know that even if I'm not close to this person anymore, this is their work. I know that they do this stuff and I know that they do this stuff and I've seen their work before and we were close at some point. So I'm like, I just felt it was like honorary to go to this person to take my graduation pictures. So everything went smooth. The pictures looked like they were coming out nice because I had seen a couple of the raw ones, right? But well, I don't know where the stuff got lost in transition between like how I wanted the final products to come out as I'm somebody that does hair. I work in like the service market. Like I know how to treat customers. And yes, let me just put this out here. If you are watching this video, maybe not because my subscribers are lovely. But if you are watching this video or you know somebody that is like this, go and advise them. If you're not a people's person, if you don't like to communicate with people and talk to people, if you don't know how to handle people, do not go into customer service because there's too many rude people in customer service. I'm like, are you guys hiding in the interview to get the job? Then when you get it, you come and act like... <sighs> Anyways. So, almost close to my graduation day now. I said I want to post these pictures on my graduation day. Even if, like, nothing's really happening that day, I took pictures. I want to post them on this day. So... Yeah, it's not look at my makeup anyhow. It's to still come out nice. You see my Instagram pictures, they are nice. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I was like, okay, okay. 
it's almost time for my it's almost the day of the graduation let me get these pictures and at least see them all so i don't know you know all this carousel you have to post like four i have to choose so can i see these pictures and he is like the photographer is like oh all right let me give you the pictures he shows me the pictures and i don't think this is uncommon that i do not like the edits on the pictures because i'm like mm -mm, this is just weird for me it's not what i was looking for for a graduation picture i was like okay cool and i was like okay can you send me the raw pictures and he said okay so come down the line of the conversation why are you now telling me you have a policy that you don't give out all the raw pictures you can only give me 16 did i take only 16 pictures with you no it does not make any sense so on my graduation date that particular day and i had to dress up again and go out with my siblings because i was like if you're not going to give me all these pictures you can't tell me to come and meet you to pick the pictures what's the difference if you can make me to come and meet you to come and pick the pictures how about you send it to me and i pick the pictures i'm not going to post 100 pictures on my instagram it does not make any sense anyways wow okay I'm going to just go fast Anyway, so back to where we are. Now we are like in August. I've done my birthday. I've had fun, whatever. Still no job. And I'm just like, okay, what's going on? I'm getting tired. I'm getting stressed. And everybody's like running away from responsibility. But I just hated the fact that I didn't have any sort of responsibility after school. It's just like, okay, I finished school, got my degree. What's my responsibility now? I don't have a job. I don't have, like, I'm not physically like looking for rent money and doing all these things i just did not feel myself so i'm like okay me and my sister we already planning on moving out because we had taught i was this girl's fiendi because we had taught i would have gotten the job by then so in august i was already making plans on moving out in like november august september i was already making plans on eventually moving out when i get a job because we saw that this job stuff was going to come sooner then those people that i did the interviews with at first they contacted me contacted me again all this oh we're now hiring blah blah, blah. we just want to have a quick chat with you to see how things are going to see how things are on your end i mean i was like okay this i feel like and i i was like okay so this is just like a run through kind of we just have a quick chat it's not like oh interviews what are the basics or whatever serious things so i was like okay cool why not i hope i'm not talking too fast so i go for the interview or i do the interview and whatever it was it was a nice chat it wasn't like they mentioned it wasn't anything outside of what they mentioned it was just a nice chat so me i'm here just waiting on this job now now you would think you would think that if these people were not going to give me this job, they could have just let, let it go in May when the whole COVID thing happened so that I would not be in this position of wanting because me, I was at some point I had my head set on them and them alone because of how big they were and how it would be good in my career path. Anyways, last last, I don't have a job right now, so I guess you guys know the end of that story. But this, they were like, oh, so like the normal unfortunately story. I'm glad I've seen unfortunately, but yeah, it was just it was it was painful. I'm not even going to lie. When that happened, it was painful. It was like, oh, where am I starting from now? Kind of thing, like where. But I continued applying, but I still really wanted to move out because I really needed some sort of responsibility. And my dad is like. I don't think that's a smart move for someone that just graduated. This is your 20s. You're supposed to be saving instead of racking up money to go pay rent when you have an opportunity to not. But I was just like, bro, I want to leave. This is not a living, running away from the house story. I just needed it for myself too. So I was just like, you know what? I have to leave. So I think it was in Sept August, September. So September, October yeah october is when SARS happened so october i told you i was even i was going through personal stuff right so this year i had lost my uncle at some point like around the size stuff but not to size but i had lost an uncle but before that i was going through because in my personal relationships in my life i was going through some stuff 
so but then i was just not trying to because at some point i even stopped putting out videos because if i'm not feeling some type of way within i just cannot do it i don't know it's just like it's not like your girl can be an actress if there are actress gigs out there but now this one is different this one is me to you this is so personal this is my life so i'm not going i'm not acting a scene kind of thing right so all of that was going on and then like aside losing my uncle i lost somebody that i thought was like like my g like it was just so weird when you lose those kind of people because then sometimes you then assess yourself like oh my god am i a bad judge of character like how did I know? And since that I had received one, you know, somebody had told me, hey, this person is like this, this person is this way. But me, I went with my coconut head. I say, I want to find out for myself. This person might not be this way. When somebody gives you advice, especially when there's no reason for them to be malicious about the advice they are giving you, you what? You take it. Anyways, we live that in 2020. We're living all that in 2020. But during that period, I was going through that. My head was just in shambles because the things, the things, oh my goodness. Anyways, what's this message? Yeah. So, I don't even know. This makeup is almost done. I'm just, I'm just going to go very casual onto the Lord. <laughs> but yeah, the things then the whole sad stuff happened so everything was just happening like kind of like at the same time actually the sad stuff happened then the whole rambling of my like life like blah, happened and then even during that period i was still trying to find jobs it's just so much was going on in my head i sometimes i just go for walks because i really needed it and in that period something even good happened like i got an interview but i think i messed it up myself which i could not even forgive myself for for that period because of this particular thing i was just telling you about how if i'm not good within it's just going to show outside kind of thing so i don't think i give that interview my 100 if i'm being serious and i just blame myself anytime i think back at it i blame myself but we know better now, we feel better now. Anyways, all of that shambu shambolistic things happened before November. So in November I moved into my place with my sister. <laughs> Should I let me continue my makeup before I come back to the story? <laughs> Yeah, nobody. Yeah. Yeah, nobody. Why are you here that reading? Are you okay? <laughs> like, are you, you actually free? Okay? Your body? Hey. Give you a reason. She's acting drunk. <laughs> She's acting drunk over here. I'm drunk on the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the flip. November, come November. Me and Fiona moved into this place, which we're still in the process of furnishing thanks to COVID. We don't have to take our time. Anyways, so we moved into this place, but for the first month, Fiona did not stay here because she was still moving her things and things. And she wanted her place to be complete before she started staying here. But me, I already had my bed and whatever, so I was in. So for the first month, I stayed here by myself. I think that staying here by myself really did more for me than i realized because like the whole month i was here by myself it really like i'd have my me time come back cook eat by myself enjoy like not even necessarily talking to anybody but then i forgot to mention aside all these other things i've mentioned in this year i've met really good people i've met some good people that have connected with God, I hope I'm not squinting. And I'm telling you, if you have any period in your life that you can stay by yourself, like alone, not roommates, like alone, you'll be able to find out one or two things about yourself. You know, sometimes why you do the things you do, you have certain things you have said. <laughs> Stop laughing at this video, Penny. <laughs> and you keep coming to meet me. Anyways. 
so yeah now after that I come december you see i've been giving you guys content on a steady i'm such in a good place right now i still don't have a job i'm still looking for a job but surprisingly enough like my business lovely means i'm grateful to all my customers because bruh i don't know how i'm doing it because that's what for the most part i have been living off which is so surprising because if someone told me that learning how to braid that i did a couple years ago annoyingly was what was going to be maintaining me at some point in my life i'll be like get out of here <laughs> But yo, that's what's going on right now. Like, and it's crazy. I, I'm one of the people that can attest to paying their rent for reading. I don't know if that is swag, but whew. look at this beauty. This December in itself has been good. I've been in such a good place, like I mentioned. So, yo, by the time this video comes out tomorrow, it'll be New Year's. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat because I enjoyed it. The next time you're gonna see me on the screen, the next time you're gonna see me, I don't know why I'm being extra, honestly. I'm just so happy today. I don't know. It's almost New Year's. I don't know. But the next time you're gonna see me on your screen is gonna be New Year's. I don't know if I'm going to add a clip from church when I go, but we'll see. I probably will show you guys what I'm wearing to go. And after church, maybe I may hang out with some friends. I don't know we'll see but this really was a chit chat how my 2020 went you know i'm just happy to move forward i have a lot of projects planned. if you're not following three beans in your pot on instagram it's a podcast with my friends and i you know i have that coming out like i can't wait to see where it goes and some other things i have planned for the year i'm so excited hopefully i get a job too but yeah, excited for the other things. Let me put on my wig and come back and show you guys. God, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And if you're a guy and you're watching this, I appreciate you. Because I know you're watching it for the content, not for the makeup. Because if you're trying to learn makeup skills for me, honey, I am not the one. <laughs> Although I look nice though. Oh my God. Who's this girl? That's a piece in the ogong. Should I do this in slow mo? Listen. No, you do the video slow. lashes will soon come off okay so that is the end of the video i really really appreciate you guys if you are not subscribed and you listen to my gist my 2020 gist better click the subscribe button down below like share comment i really appreciate it I really appreciate it and I just I really like you guys I love you guys <laughs> we're starting this year strong look out for my next videos thank you so much on the road to 200 subscribers we're about to hit 200 I'm so excited bye tough time never lasts only tough people last <laughs>